of the imbalance between a parent and a friend? This is a question that was asked by one of the parents in one of the Zoom meetings I attended. Well, think about it. How do you define parenting? Who is a parent according to you? And who is a friend? I want to focus on the friend. I believe a friend is someone who, number one, accepts, honors, respects, and celebrates your difference, your uniqueness, your authenticity. You need to have a friend that allows you to be you. They allow you to think, they allow you to feel, they allow you to talk, they allow you to act as you. That's a space we all want because our beauty is not in our physical structure, physical presence and essence. Our beauty is when we are permitted or we permit ourselves to use our physical bodies to express, manifest who we truly are in the inside of us. So, if you can be such a friend, why wouldn't the child give you the freedom to influence them? We need friends. If you allow the child to feel they're in charge of their lives, they can make decisions and choices of their own. They'll always come to you and ask for your opinion. They'll ask for your advice. They'll ask for your idea. Why? Because they've already been fed in their need to be seen, to be heard, and to be understood. So they're definitely going to give you the freedom. They're going to allow you into their world. They're going to open their hearts. They're going to open their minds. And guess what? Change only begins in the heart of a person in their minds. So unless I allow you into my heart, I allow you to like deposit something in my mind, I'm not going to be any different than I am today. So the child you have can become different, can become better. Of course, if they tap from your knowledge and from your experience, but then how will that happen? It's through a friend zone. It's through friendship. So that's how I look at friendship. And if you can get that right, then you don't need to be a parent to really help your child become the best.